Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for some Orzhov Angels. So we've played a lot of different Angels decks here on the channel. This is the one that I'm probably the most excited about right now. We've only played this 75 one other time, uh, just a few days ago. Uh, you can see it back if you're you know on YouTube, you can go back and, and recheck the, um, go into the videos and scroll down a little bit for Orzhov Angels a little bit ago, uh, a couple days ago. And we ended up doing incredibly well with it. We we went 5-0, and you can't really you know do any better than that. So uh, the deck felt really good, though. I like our our curve and everything. I like how low to the ground we are with all these twos and threes and everything, and then having um, the top end with Seraph, Lyra, and Ajani. So I'm pretty excited to to try this deck again and see how it works out. I think we we did play against a lot of aggro decks. You know, played against a lot of better matchups i believe I, I could be wrong there um but let's try it again so i'm going with just three each of takali honor guard and adanto vanguard because those cards are really good in some matchups but not necessarily good in others so i'm going with just three of each with the fourth copy in the sideboard so if it's a matchup where we really want honor guard we got the fourth in the board for it or if it's like a control deck where we need vanguard we got the fourth in the board there but game one we you know there's a lot of decks where Drawing one or the other is going to be pretty bad. So we're just going with the three there. Um, we're also trying a couple Kayas in the deck where against, like, you know, Hyper Aggro, the minus one ability can, you know, exile things. And against Control, just the, the tick up of exiling cards um, and getting towards this ultimate can uh, help us win if we have an aggressive start with like some of the other things and even if our opponent stabilizes the battlefield hopefully the minus five can uh, kill our opponent or we can keep search for us can't in check we've got the two mortifies in the main couple more in the board uh, for the enchantment decks got another a johnny in this the sideboard for the control decks get because you know like that's a card we're definitely going to want on turn four all of the time and uh, that's what we have we are dresses too. So let's give it let's give it a try. Let's see if we have as much success with the deck as we did the last time we played this. So Borland says, yeah, Tulsimer is also a removal and can easily be a three for one against a lot of common cards. Eat Steve Sanity, Hostage Takers, Jupacabras, things like that. Tulsimer alone is backbreaking against aggro, even better if preceded by Tristani. That is true. Like that that three life that you're gaining against aggro is huge, and then just having the two Yeah, it's it's so good against aggro. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sold. I like I like Tulsimer. I don't know if I like this hand. 25 lands. We, like, have to draw a white source be before we can play History or Resplendent. Um, we got 18 white sources in the deck, so we got 17 more. Even if we don't, we could play, like, Midnight Reaper first. Which isn't bad. Just gonna mulligan, though. And I like this one more. Against Basic Swamp. Let's go Vanguard. Try to have our aggressive start of going turn two Vanguard, turn three history, turn four Johnny. It's usually a good way to win games diamond mare that's not a card you see too often choosing black And uh, we have like our our best curve here, and unfortunately, we're Together we playing against a deck that's not really doing anything. And 
we're kind of using our really good curve <laughs> here. They're trying to gain life, though. Diamond Mare, Child Knight. See in yourself what I see. All attack for five. Cross the board. Yeah, we've been playing against a lot of people in intro decks recently. We have been just facing lots and lots of intro decks recently. I mean, these people are spending a thousand gold to enter this queue. It's not like, you know, it's not like it's free. Ooh, that is correct, MTG bot. You can get 15% off a movement watch or pair of sunglasses by using my referral link and then the coupon code ToddStevensMTG. You can get it like a nice watch. Like this is my watch with the it's the blue blue watch with the brown strap. Also signing up for just you know making a purchase through movement um, also gets you a free donation deck so not only do you get 15% off if you want to step up your watch game you also get a free donation deck so check that out uh, referral link was there in chat or it's also down below in the info panel for movement so I do not want Kaya I don't really want to call Leon or Garden. We'll take an extra Johnny, an extra Cast Down, and an extra Mortify. And that's 59. So we'll take an extra Adanto Vanguard too. Basically, just like our first hand. I think I'm going to keep, though, like knowing what our opponent's on and everything. And oh, we're on the play. I liked this hand more on the draw because we had. We would have had uh, three draws before turn three on the draw instead of just two draws. And we got there. Running hot, get to go history, history. And of course, not attacking here. I do not want to trade my 2 2 for their 2 2 because next turn it's going to be a 4 3. Um, so, waiting until next turn for it to be a 4 3. Do we get to a Johnny as well? Hooray. I am proud to fight. I will lend you my strength. There's no reason to get so upset, King Toll. At you know, arena shuffler and all that kind of stuff. It just it happens and 
Just got to let it go, move on, look forward to the next time you play. And it's it's okay that be strong. That you know that you hit a bad patch of variance and everything. It's okay. Just things that you can't con like there's not really a reason to be really upset with things you can't control. Just in, in general. Or even just being really upset. I'm not saying that caring like not caring is you know, it's not useful to care about things, but it's not very you know like being really upset is not really a useful too useful of an emotion. Strength is born of struggle. So, you know, we got to have pretty good hands, good curves and everything. Didn't really have much of a test here. And hopefully we don't, you know, then play against a more difficult opponent where we, you know, have all lands, no lands kind of thing and don't get to play much magic. So let's see what we got for match number two. Good starting hand. Hopefully Takali Honor Guard is, is very good in the matchup that we're playing. Swamp. That's a familiar looking swamp. The M19 swamp. Is this the the black green sapling deck again? Ooh, red black. And we got history into history yet again. Yeah, I guess a, a 3D version of Banalia would probably just not have the text on the left hand side, like whenever it's out. Like, see how Honor Guard has no text? It'd probably be like that, like where then then you'd look at it and and it would or so. But it'd probably just you know just be the. Um, this art over like the whole thing. I'm sure it would look amazing, however it would look. Hey, Jake the Bear. War pre-released weekend is... I think somewhere around like the very, very end of April, beginning of May. It comes out on Arena on the 25th. That's the date that I know. And I know the pre-release is after that. And by no, I mean pretty sure it is after that. All right, with the opponent playing little small creatures... Gonna take out the Adanto Vanguards that get kind of chumped by some little X ones and stuff. I guess our opponent could 
have... I'm going to play two Contempt, one Mortify. I guess they could have, like, Rekindling Phoenix. Pre-release is 27-28. Okay. The same weekend as Avengers Endgame. Is Game of Thrones, like, next weekend? Or, like, next week or something? Are you going to go see the Avengers on the 24th? TG Chaos? Is that possible? Game of Thrones is next Sunday. Ten days from now. Because... So I should look into that to see if if it's, like, on the 24th up here. Because that could be a day... I could take the 24th off with, like, the 25th, you know, then going to be the new set. So then, you know, stream a whole bunch on 25, 26, 26. You know, like, stream a bunch of all, you know, those, those days after that. And so I could take the 24th off to see Avengers before that. And then, you know, have, like, big streamathon after the new set's out and everything. Wait, Shadow Kid says the earliest you can see in game is the 25th. Oh, sorry to hear that, Hi Rav. This deck does have a whole lot of cards that are going to be rotating out. You know, just kind of looking at our hand. Everything except for these new cards from Ravnica Allegiance, you know, History, Resplendent Angel with Johnny, these are all rotating in late September. I'm liking playing this deck though. I just like how it looks. We have so many 3D cards. And I like these sleeves, and I like Kaya as our avatar. This is a cool deck. No, I've never played a Reclamation deck. Salvatos. Why'd our opponent not attack? Why are you supposed to attack? Deal damage. What do you do? You can sack a creature to put a counter on this thing? The Harpy does look pretty ravenous. I guess 24th, man, so it looks like I, I'm not going to be able to see Avengers Endgame on the 24th. That's unfortunate. Would have been a great time to go watch that. Hmm. Well, Act of Treason, Ravenous Harpy, that's a real thing. They can sack my Seraph and take get the tokens for themselves. That is a combo. It's a removal spell plus gain two one ones. Plus hit me for four. Yeah. Pretty good. Plus put a counter on their harpy. So right now all I want to do is draw lands. I want to just get to the point where we're gonna be able to like activate Resplendent Angel. That's what I wanted. Just want lands. So, this turns either Resplendent Angel or Mortify. The absolute worst case scenario is our opponent has another Act of Treason. 
either way, we're like, like if if opponent does not have Resplendent Angel, we're taking like three this turn, and potentially more. You know, like yeah. So like I I don't mind them just like sacrificing those kind of creatures and stuff. What does this do when it attacks? You sack another creature. It gets plus two plus two. I think kind of hits kind of hard. Kinda hits, kinda hard. Nice, there we go. Land is what we want. Now we can play the Tithe Taker to be able to block this Brawl Bash Ogre. And then also mortify the harpy. Menace. Hmm. Hey, Zibaj. For those of you just joining, uh, we hit our first sub battle countdown goal. So we're going to be taking an entire day where I'm going to be playing against subscribers here. Uh, and so we have the poll of what day you would like. Oh, I have that. Let me actually give you the, the link of like voting instead of the results. There you go. So I have the link here for you to vote of what day you'd like that stream to be Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Yep, this is the same deck we played a few days ago. Yep. And so does token still have a massive over ton of five drops? Okay, oh, you're in that, that conversation in, in there about, okay, I gotcha. Yeah, y'all are talking about the new wolf card. So we're two and zero, but we played against like two starter decks. We'll see if see what happens here for match number three. Hmm. White mana. Sorry, Honor Guard, you're not white mana. This, you know, could be just like a Sultai deck where we miss the Honor Guard. Okay. A Danta Vanguard can be really good against Hallowed Fountain. Never mind. Oh, Adanta Vanguard was like our, our hope to win this game, probably. <laughs> Basically. That's going to be tough to win this now. Uh, Lyra against... Okay, we got another one. Lyra against Esper. 
is not very good. Just because it's easy to answer, cost five mana. Love drawing another Vanguard. So those two Vanguards have been very good draws. We've drawn very well. White Source, Vanguard, Vanguard. Can't really ask for much more than that. Yeah, and Brack, um, right on, I'm stick. going to be doing, okay, tucking. Let's take it back. Ah, uh, not the honor guard. Only time will tell. I'll be doing a YouTube series and Brack that, um, where I play some ranked matches. Be worried about a settle the wreckage, right? That's my plan right now. Especially how we have like the rewards of like have to hit at least platinum to get a Vrasis Contempt. If Honor Guard is basically any other card, like any other creature, I'm keeping it in my hand. Honor Guard is like the only one that I play here into a potential Kaiserath. Because I want... Um, or basically because it is so bad on its own, just being a 1-3. It's just, it's just such a bad card. Alright, good answers for the opponent. Especially having two Moment of Cravings. But it did mean that like if our opponent drew like a Mortify for the Lyra, we'd have a little bit more pressure, even though it's not very much. Let's slow this down. You need to take a time out. The Vrass's Contempt uh, like 3D card thing, card style, is a prize for getting to Platinum at the end of this month. Alright, Honor Guard out, Johnny, Duress, Kaya, Spyglass, Bloodfast, Other Vanguard, Dawnbringer out, Sixty one. Let's trim Resplendent Angel. I need to trim something on the three mana slot. So I kind of want to play a little bit more Mortify and Contempt. I guess I could just take out Resplendent Angels. Maybe go with this. Am I even supposed to be playing Kaya? Maybe I don't actually play Kaya. Should I play Resplendent Angel or Kaya? I'm gonna go with Kaya. Yeah, I expect. Uh, Basic lands will be available for 3D our part eventually. I expect that to be a thing, but it's just not a thing yet, unfortunately. 
Kaya is good against the aggro decks. Mono white, mono blue, mono red. Um, good against Drakes with, you know, with Terramander. And Enigma Drake. Certainly hoping our opponent does not have Cry of the Carnarium here. That would be bad news. Okay, that cannot be Cry of the Carnarium. Awesome, and they tapped out. We get to land a Johnny. Oh, or I could just go Duress in another history instead of a Johnny. I guess I just do that. No, go in a Johnny. No, yeah, let's go this way. Johnny's just so good. Our kinch deliver us to victory. And now our opponent only has like one turn. So they have to have a craving or or cry of the carnarium, otherwise this Adanto Vanguard just kills them. And then we also are ticking up the Ajani every turn. Okay, well contempt means you that does buy them more turns, of course. Where I have failed. Hmm. So they need a Kaya's Wrath. Okay, didn't do it. Keep it the same. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm surprised my opponent still had Chromium in, in their deck. Um, but besides Chromium, they have a ton of good stuff against us. They are really built to try to beat uh, these kind of aggro decks with all of those moment of cravings and having Settle also. If we had mul if we had multiple black sources, I would have just fired off multiple duresses. Maybe, maybe not. I would would love to have multiple black sources here, though. But we'll take that Kai's wrath. Oh, they had only tap lands. I was like, why didn't they just play the Kai's wrath last turn? They need to play the watery grave to have these untapped because they didn't have two white sources there, or they need to play their isolated chapel earlier. What can replace a couple of Johnnies in the deck? Um, maybe a couple of Midnight Reapers? Or... Really wish we had another black source. Um, could also play a Mortal Sun there instead, even though Mortal Sun and a Johnny's not a combo. Uh, or Angel of Grace. Angel of Grace, not a bad one. So if I, if I play a spell, they get to actually cast their Absorb. Remember, they had four mana there, so four mana does not... They're not able to cast Chemister's Insight. 
uh, because of Tithe Taker. So the only thing our opponent could play when they were passing the turn there was the Absorb. So if I just cast a spell, we let them gain three life. And there's just no reason to let them gain three life. Wait for them to spend more mana on dealing with my stuff before playing something else. All right, 3-0. No. I as I have I don't know I haven't seen the official announcement about what level you need to hit exactly for the Vrasis Contempt. I was from people saying that you need to be platinum. I was assuming that would be platinum four. I don't know why it would be platinum three. That'd be kind of weird. That's like a an odd benchmark to have. That. So my assumption is that you just need to be platinum four. And I, and I would, I would also assume that it's whatever your level is at the very end of the season. It's not like they ch they just check the very end of the season. It is, it's platinum three. It is platinum three. That's just such a, it's an arbitrary number. Why is it platinum three? That's weird. It is good to see you, my friend. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it does disincentivize people to play once you get to Platinum 3. Because then you're scared of you. losing and going back to Platinum 4. So it, it tells you to stop playing the program kind of thing that's your incentive that's not a it's not a good benchmark to have strength is born of struggle So our opponent, good chance our opponent has Sinister Sabotage. That's a pretty popular card in these kind of decks. So I didn't really see the reason to play one of my two spells, because maybe they're just like holding that Sinister Sabotage and want to scry one. So it's like, why do we want them to scry one when we already have like these two, um, these two attackers that are going to be able to help us the next turn anyway? Yeah, go ahead and link it there so it does not say platinum three yeah if you have if you have it in the notes or if you have the notes there feel free to link it and so we can see because yeah, that'd be i need to know exactly how to get that brass's contempt of course yes. was this card printed? Just us clicking a bunch and seeing if we win or not. Don't really have anything to do, except for just click and see if we win. No, it's never used to say extra turn. It's always said my turn. It's just it just trolls you. Thinking that it's going to your turn, but you you're not. Oh, 
Oh, that's where the three comes in, because for Platinum, it says you get three Allegiance booster packs. So that's why people were maybe thinking it was Platinum 3. That is... Yeah, so it's Platinum, colon, three Ravnica Allegiance booster packs. Wait. That doesn't keep them from drawing the cards. It's just, it's just a waste of a cast down. Wow, that happened. Did they just have a fog in their hand and they just let me get the tithe taker back? And then they couldn't fog anymore? I hope that I hope that's exactly what happened. Don't know if that happened or not, but I hope that's exactly what happened. So we're gonna have all four mortifies now. And get our duresses in as well. The Kayas help them help stop Azkanta from flipping. And can eat Chemister's Insights. And can also threaten lethal. We don't really have time to for Blood Fast. That's not what this match is about. I'm doing good, Babalu. How are you doing? Yeah, well, they, they'd have Krasis in the main deck. But they could have Biogenic Goose here also. Let's go like this. We'll go to a Johnny for Seraph. No, I, I don't like playing four honor guards in the in the sideboard at all. Um, it just takes up it's just so much valuable sideboard slots for for the card. And yeah, we sideboarded out a lot. We sideboard out a Danto Vanguard a lot as well. But there are still just a, a lot of decks where Takali Honor Guard is good against. You know, all the aggro decks and Soul Tie. These are all matchups for it. But yeah, when we play against Control and you know Control and Nexus, we are taking it out. I wonder if I should be Tithe Takering here. Vanguard just hits harder. But then like next turn they could counter Tithe Taker, for example. Like next turn I'm gonna play two drop plus duress. But I've I've always hated the four honor guard in the sideboard. It's just so many sideboard slots. I don't like it at all there. But the deck just wants other things to do on turn two also. So it's just a creature to play on turn two. Even though it gets sideboarded out a decent amount. Yeah, almost halfway. For our 12 hour, 12 hour stream today, it's almost 6 o'clock. Going from noon to midnight. I 
don't know, they have no red mana. Maybe I should just be taking Chemistry's Insight. I thought they had I thought they had at least one red source. I would I don't, I don't know. I just thought they had a red source. Pizza again. I actually had uh I actually had pizza for lunch here before the stream, so I should be good. I I don't I'm not planning on eating anything here today. I, I prepared a lot better for this twelve hour stream than I did on Monday. You know, got got more sleep. Um and everything and should be a little better last time I know I uh, struggled getting through it <laughs> no I'm not gonna delay the stream for the sub battle so I don't get sniped no I don't think that I don't think any of the subscribers that we're playing against, you know, I don't think any of y'all are just going to snipe, try to win like that. Like, it's, we don't have anything on the line. I don't, no, we just don't need to do that. All right, am I killing Ascanta? Why, why can't you just tell me how many cards you have in your graveyard? This is just so frustrating. I just want to know how many cards you have in your graveyard. Okay, we can click on it. Six. Okay. <laughs> is there if you're going to be sniping? Th this zero stakes fun event. You're sniping. I like this Orzhov Angels deck. Just beat Control and then um, beat Esper, beat Teamer Nexus. It's looking pretty strong, looking pretty strong. We did have good hands for sure. Our, our hands were very good. But yeah. This hand's good. This deck's been doing good for us. So we got final boss time with an extra life talked about at the beginning of this stream whenever we made like this 75 we only played it the one other time a few a few days ago and we went 5-0 if we can go 5-0 again our first two wins were against um some beginner decks but then we have last two matches played against good esper control and good teamer reclamation Yeah, decklist, just exclamation point decklist gets you there. There you go. Or, Sal so put it right there in the chat for you. There's the deck. Very good hand. Of course, wish we had another white source, but... Ah, the opponent has Orzhov sleeves as well. This is a matchup we're going to be boarding out Adanto Vanguard. We'd like to be drawing a Lyra Dawnbringer. Could you see yourself running Knight of Grace, Knight of Malice in the deck? I don't think so. I don't think you really need it. I don't think you need those knights. Um, they're a little underpowered. Yeah, putting in another Lyra if you're missing the fourth scale, Seraph of the Scales. Yeah, that's that's not bad. You could also play, if you're worried about having four Lyras, you could play an Angel of Grace. Eh, 
And basically, we are Lyra or bust. Like, we're not winning unless we draw Lyra here. Yeah, Venerate Luxodon, so strong. We save a little bit of life by just paying four. Looks like they have another Luxodon. For a uh, Nia Legends, Grixis Discard, Quasi Deep Blues, Mono Black Zombies, Orzov Angels stream. Those are our best decks. You're missing two Resplendent Angels. Is there any good replacement? Maybe Midnight Reaper? Yeah, you could. Yeah, Midnight Reaper is not bad. That could work. All right, basically getting more removal in, getting our other honor guard in. This is 62. Do I just trim a, yeah, I'm gonna at least take out one of Johnny. I kinda wanna keep two of Johnny's in. I could, I could see going down to, I could see just playing three Mortify. May not need to play all four. No, I probably wanna play all four. I guess I'm just playing one a Johnny. Yeah. You watched half of Fellowship of the Rings last night? Man, what what great movies. I know some of my friends, January first every year, they celebrate the new year by watching all three Lord of the Rings movies. You know, going with the marathon there. That's the January. That's their January first every year. I've I've been there one one year, and watched it with them. But they've been doing that for gosh, like ten years now or whatever. Yeah, plague mares is yeah, plague mares dead against control. I mean, it's not, you know, technically dead dead, but it's a it's a three mana two two. Like control decks can beat three mana two twos quite easily. So Honor Guard's just stopping just in here to, to stop Venerade Luxodon, that's about it. But it also blocks, you know, it can block and stop a Luxodon for us. Really hoping we draw one more land that we get to curve Seraph into Lyra. Yeah, it's no no inconvenience whatsoever, Sway. Easy. Cool, yeah, no problem. Don't really want to incentivize my opponent in attacking here. I want to try to show a 
strong defensive front by not attacking with the Resplendent Angel. Yeah, you're at a final boss. And I have some new final boss songs on the playlist here. We'll see if we get to them. Okay. Good job, Honor Guard. I'm glad our opponent didn't attack there. Now time to cast this Dawnbringer. I guess I could exile the Benelish Marshal. Nah. Let's go for the 9 lifelink and making an, another 5-5 five five lifelinker. Well, they tapped their creatures for a reason. They got a, they played a 5-5. Five five. It wasn't for no reason. Yeah, still a 0 mana 5-5. Five five. Not bad. It's just, it doesn't. Also, just Anthem their creatures. Yes, it is. This is Lord of the Rings music. Yep, you're right. Speaking of movie... Um, I don't know, not not just trilogies, but uh, you know, events where you sit uh, like watchathons, kind of thing, marathon movie watching. There we go. I saw that some AMC theaters are doing before the Avengers comes out on the twenty. Yeah, so it was before that comes out on the Thursday. On the Tuesday, they're starting. Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's a marathon of all either was it 22 or 23 uh, Marvel movies straight. It's like 59 hours, like like 59 and a half hours of movies straight, and it's like a hundred and thirty-five dollar ticket that you're just there in the movie theater. You can take like naps or whatever. It's there in Germany, too. They're doing that in Australia, too. <laughs> yeah, so you just have 59 hours of movies. And so you just, like, during, like, the... Yeah, like, during, like, the, the crappy ones, like the Edward Hort Norton Hulk movie, that's when you take your naps or whatever. And that's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And then, so then, you have to sit through 59 hours of movies just to get to, then at the very end, you get to, like, I'm sure you're very attentive and, you know, definitely paying attention to the, you know, Avengers Endgame movie, the newest one. I don't think they have showers or anything. I don't think. It's just, it's just like, you know, over two days. But they said that they have, uh, you get access to like a very special menu and everything like they're gonna have you know special kind of catering and everything where, where you'll have like different meals and all that kind of stuff and I don't know that's pretty crazy I don't know but people are, yeah, people are doing that, though. People are selling tickets. Twenty, is it 23? I think, I think it's 22 Marvel movies plus the 23rd one is this new Avengers one. So we don't have any sweepers at all. I guess I don't think we're favored to win this game, even though our, our hand's pretty decent. Not having any sweepers is pretty rough.
Alright, really hoping the opponent does not have Benelish Marshal. So I think I'm going to play Kaya here. Kaya is our highest upside. And Kaya exile this token. Dispelling phantasms makes me feel good. <laughs> not on my watch. Oh, another history? Come on. Wet fickle. You're going double history. Oh, then they have tribunal also to tribunal the honor guard and then attack Kaya. Yeah, what a what a turn. What a turn. Am I dematerializing? Huh. Stuff. They're gonna just destroy the history that's going to make a new token and give them a pump as well. So we're basically, you know, we're destroying, getting rid of like the the pump effect and a a token. Oh gosh, that thing pumps bodyguard too. Forgot about that. So that's 14. Oh, well. That's an incredible hand. It's lethal. Alright, well we had... <clears throat> we had a... Uh, an extra life. So that's alright. But man, what a what a great hand! Double history, and um, you know the the tribunal plus Benelish Marshal. Very strong. Let's try again. So yeah, this is a new one added. One winged angel. Do y'all like that we have one one winged angel in here now? On the boss playlist? Alright, let's get land. <laughs> Mono means monkey in Spanish. So when you first started playing MTG, you were confused and people were like, you should play mono white. You're like, what's what's monkey white? What is that? All right. We need land. Gotta warm these up. We need this card to be a land. Good. We need a land. Land, land. Any land will do, except for the Orzhov Gilgate. Any other land? No, Vanguard. Ugh. Vanguard, you so bad. Hey, what's up, QQ? Good evening. Yeah, I've had a, had a real good stream today. Yep. So we're doing this 12-hour stream for hitting the MeUndies goal, where we got to 10 people signing up for MeUndies. We're pretty close on some of the other ones. 
For example, we're only three people signing up away for Quip. Quip is a very, very nice toothbrush. Best toothbrush that I've ever had in my life. Signing up through my referral code does give you your first refill for free. And you also get a free donation deck as well. But definitely check out the awesome product over there at Quip. It's a very nice toothbrush. One of the best things you can do for your health. Sub battle countdown? Yes. Good question. We hit our sub battle goal earlier, so we reset it. And I reset to 150 this time. So you can vote for what day you want us to do the sub battle stream, either tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. If you haven't voted in that yet. We're going to be spending an entire day just me the subs. JW Player says I can vouch for a well pretty solid toothbrush. Ugh. Not ugh on that comment, ugh on this never drawing a land. Yeah, this is another new addition to the playlist, the Game of Thrones theme. We'll play some duresses. So they're cast down. Contempt. Do I actually really want these honor guards? They're like kinda whatever. They cost two and not more than two. And shocking for duress kind of defeats the point of duress because we just take a damage, a burn spell. But we do have like a really good curve, so we may not like be able to cast this duress later. But we'll see. Bloodfast is for control, where we want the card advantage. Is there a way to know which captive audience hasn't triggered yet? Because my opponent played it too. The first one resolved completely, and I want to destroy the second one with Mortify. Huh, I don't know. I mean I would just I would just recommend just kind of right clicking on it and seeing if it says anything about any text or anything. I guess I don't I don't know exactly. I'm not completely familiar with the card. That's a lot of creatures over there. There's no information? That's an oversight by them. They should definitely attack here. Hooray! They really should not attack there. They should just wait till they play Chain Whirler and make it so I only have a 1-1 one -one so it doesn't kill their 2-2. Two -two. I still want no land from our opponent. I do not want them to be able to play Chain Whirler.
Alright, getting some defense set up for Kaya. <laughs> you destroyed the wrong one, but you still managed to win the game? How did you win the game? How does your opponent have all three things happen in... <laughs> on a captive audience and play another one? And you don't destroy the new one, and... Gotta... How does this even work? Ooh. You are amazing. Be able, to stro be able to win through those captive audiences. Thanks to the enchantment that draws and gains two. Oh, like Dovin's Acuity, that one? I'm kind of sitting back with this 1-1 one, one to block a 2-1. But yeah, I, I could have attacked with a 1-1 one, one by now, I suppose. We're at the point where it doesn't really matter. May have just thrown their Firebrand at it. If I would have attacked with it. So they're wanting to chump lock the 4 3 with Firebrand. As a very slow Red Egg Wins player. I actually never saw Avatar. Yeah, it is. Don, yep. This is the Hunger Games song. I thought it was kind of epic, a good one for final boss fight. Yeah, I wasn't ever planning on watching Avatar either, but I'm just saying I hadn't seen it. Right, that's their plan to block. Well, I thought that was their plan to block with the four three, block the four three, and then shoot. All right, let's see if we can win game three. I want this honor guard back in. And... Three duress, one Kaya. No, three duress. We go three resplendent angel. Helps out our curve a little bit by just playing the Honor Guard over the Resplendent Angel. Even though Resplendent can win the game kind of on its own kind of thing. Uh, 
Okay, let's let's keep it going, opponent. Come on, you can do it. We're hoping to curve into Lyra Dawnbringer again. It's our best card in the matchup for us. Here. I think this is the last song on our playlist, on our final boss playlist. Vivian is going to kill Bolus by shooting the Black Blade into his mouth with her arc bow. Hey, Therian. So I think this is a good time for Tithe Taker. No, I'll just go Honor Guard. The problem with Honor Guard here is, you know, like they, them using the burn spell to kill Honor Guard means that, you know, we don't have a blocker for Viashino. Where if we play Tithe Taker, we'd have a, a blocker still through um, through a burn spell. But Honor Guard's better if they're trying to go with Chain Whirler next. This leaves look like the Falcon in Star Wars. We're playing history because it uses our mana better than just playing Tithe Taker or Cast Down. I know this turn, it's not ideal if our opponent just has Shock. To kill the my blocker and then able to like attack for three. But our following turns are going to be very good. Alright, so killing the Firebrand, because Firebrand can do direct damage to us. Or Pyromancer cannot. Discarded another risk factor. Okay, we'd like to draw Kaya. Come on, Kaya. Oh man. You know how good Kaya would be here, just like exile both their risk factors. Would be so good. Alright, Lyra or Kaya? Lyra or Kaya? That's what we need. Okay, 
Okay, so we just need we just need Lyra now. Lyra Dawnbringer? No. Dress isn't bad though. Hmm. It's a pretty good hand. After a very, very long game against Mono Red, we end up losing. And went 4 2. So losing to a couple aggro decks, not, um, not ideal. Usually our angel decks are pretty good against aggro decks. We did win every game that we played Lyra Dawnbringer. We kind of lost all the ones we didn't, for the most part. Maybe I need a little bit more in my sideboard for that matchup, for the for the aggro matchups. Maybe in something like Ritual of Soot for the, that's like a sweeper against Mono White. Cast out on the board could be like another, could be a moment of craving. Yeah, the monkey dex one. <laughs> yeah, referring to monkey being mono in Spanish. So yeah, at least we, we did get some more gems. That's true. And we got some more coins. It's still a fun deck to play. But that was a disappointing losing to Mono Red and Mono White. I don't know. Just two two matches. Alright, so if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. The thing about taking out Cast Down and putting in Moment of Craving is Cast Down is just so much better against Sultai. So I kind of want that cast down there. But, oh well. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching Orzov Angels. And uh, I'll see you for the next video. Yeah, Basilica Bell Hunt could be another option that maybe I could just play a couple of Basilica Bell Hunts in the, in the sideboard. If we find out we need it. I, I want a little bit more practice with the deck first. See if we really need that. So we have a little bit of lifelink here with life gain with Kaya also and uh, contempts. You know, I have like the contempts on the board. You know, we didn't draw any contempts. But anyway, now, uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you for the next video.